It's a very start. I don't know what this is, but I know what this is. This is a pumpkin head, and this is my stand-in for my Satan's little helper. Okay, this is the very last review rant random for a while until I get on top of all the backlog and work on some productions. I said, hey, yeah, I'll do a video for you. And then I just ended up watching something and ranting about something. And again, this is me just ranting now. I've just watched this film last night. I own this film. I've seen it about three times, I want to guess. Because every time I watch it, I'll be, first time I watched it, I was like, that's mint. <laughs> it looks shit. <laughs> Second time I watched it, I was like, I need to do some of that. And third time. It's not like I've seen something, then I presume that it's like something else, then judge it, but never seen it. What? Why would you do that? But yeah, and that's, that's just a different thing, really. I like ranting about movies. But I love editing. And I believe with Review Rant Randoms, it was easy enough. Coming from when I was doing the stuff for concert magazines and stuff like that, one's there, everyone's said. Um, cutting it up, adding font. It's time consuming, do you know what I mean? Plus you need to write a script, then follow a script, and of course I can never get my fucking lines right, so it doesn't fucking matter. Review rant randoms on the other hand, off that rant. You could just rant, and as long as I put it out there and share some love. And ones I'm really proud of are Once Were Warriors. Really dropped the fucking clanger that I didn't do What Becomes of the Broken Heart in New Zealand like a year ago. You know what I mean? Because I've, really, I've like, talked to so many people in New Zealand about Once Were Warriors. And I, fuck, I was fucking over there again. I was like, oh, I should have done that. And then stuff like The Grey State and raising awareness for like like Uncle Picklehead, films you might not see. Just get some content out there and rant and show people that. Like people you may have only heard of have made a movie and it's out there, you know, like this film I'm about to talk about. And they're going, oh yeah, I mean, do anyone see that movie? And then all of a sudden, oh, look, who's this? <laughs> Ranting about the movie. And I don't know, like I rant about something, I own it. And I only rant about it. If I believe that good word should be shared. Again, go back to the magazines, some films I was like, well, you know, they were, you've got to watch that, I want to see a review for that. And I was just like, I don't really like that. And what do you want me on to see? Right, so this is Satan's Little Helper. Right? Got an inviting cover, even though he's proper grey in the movie. So, destined to become a Halloween classic, pure brilliance, Jeff Litterman directed. Of course, it was called fucking Jeff. Satan's Little Helper, your house is next. Um, proper low budget. Um, found in a charity shop. I mean, the disc doesn't even fit, like, you know what I mean, production-wise. The disc is just kind of falling out of the box. Um, it stars Catherine Winnick, Alexander Brickgill, Stephen Graham, not now Stephen Graham, from England, and a man for Pumper. All recognisable faces. The girl who's a star in this has went on to be quite famous for Vikings. And I'm sure a man for Pumper's the one in there. Uh, Pulp Fiction and the restaurant at the start, Pumpkin, I'm sure it's the same one. So the story is the kid's playing this video game and he's off playing this video game, he's addicted to this video game. It's a little kid dressed as a little devil. And as he's going around, he's like ready for trick-or-treating. Sister comes back to town, set in a small town, a bit like Amityville, so a bit like the Jaws thing going on there. Could exactly be the same as like little, little town of Jaws. And basically, the kid's not very happy that her, uh, his sister's come back because he wants to marry his sister. There's a bit about incest and you're like, what? There's 10 minutes of this film could have been taken out. The backstory about the kid, brother wanting to marry his sister could have definitely went. Anyway, he brings back, she brings back another lad who just so happens to live around the corner, but she never knew him, but they went and met in college on the mainland. Again, get rid of that little, oh, just avoid that. So the kid's off, he's angry, he's run away from home. He's like, I've had enough, you know, and in the meanwhile, there's this little theme going along and he sees this person, I'm just gonna say person, because you never know who it is. Spoiler! <laughs> I would have spoiled the fuck out of this one. I'm telling you right now, stop watching this review. Check out Satan's Little Helper. Hello, you're back, right? You're watching. Right, okay. Um, he sees this guy. Girl, guy, could be anyone. Big suit on up to here. Big fucking grey face. Big fucking chest of cat smile. Long bill pod nose, nose, beard. Spiky hair. Just fucking petting up a body on, the, uh, on there. You know, everyone's massive on Halloween in America, you know what I mean? So he's like decorating the front of the house. Little knowing that everybody's fucking just kills somebody. So yeah, the kid's like following, like, hee -hee. Next guy he kills, he's like, right, this pussycat's like, meow. And next thing you know, you're like, what the fuck? As a guy grabs the pussycat, smashes his head off again, and it's fucking fully gruesome, and writes boo on the wall. And you're like, all right. When I see that one going, because it's quite cheesy. And the guy who's playing it is playing it like a cartoon character. He just constantly just like, 
and just doing the mischievous stuff. And the kid befriends him, the kid thinks it's Satan and he just wants to help Satan because he's addicted to this video game. Meanwhile, the whole town's going upside down because Halloween's about to hit. And it just so happens that this guy has killed most of the police, so basically the purge is happening as well. And that's going on in the background. So as he goes around, the kid's just like, come and kill my uh, sister's boyfriend because I want to marry her. And then the family think that's him because the kid tricks the boyfriend into confronting the Satan character and all of a sudden you think he's dead, but he's not dead, but Satan's just like, I'll be in. So everyone thinks he's acting. So like, come to the house. So the girl's going around trying to get freaky dicky. He's like, oh, touchy touchy. And they're like, what the fuck man going on here? But there's some really funny bits, like, there's a bit in the supermarket where the kid's in the trolley and the guy just started, like, running around with the kid in the trolley hitting old women. The kid's like, five points for hitting that woman! Then a fucking blind guy, he's like, ten points for hitting the blind guy! He's like, what the fuck? Oh so, yeah, it really has fun. By this point, you know this film is just flat out having fun. So the guy goes on a murder spree and it's all climaxing to go to a massive party up on the hill like the end of Casper and he wants to turn up and everyone's just like dressed up and he's like, I'm going to put some bleach in the fucking drink. <laughs> it just keeps on going like that. At this point, by the time, because the dad turns up and the dad demises quite quickly, but like at this point at the party you think, oh, it's really good, especially the bit where he's wrapped up the mom and cling for him like this. And like, basically the mom's got a few seconds to live as he fucking duct tapes her mouth up and just chucks her into the fucking everyone mosh pitting. And everyone's just fucking dancing around fully dressed and all that. It's fucking mental. But yeah, it sort of has a left open ending. Um, really hits the credits quite quickly. I think it's about 10 minutes too short. Uh, uh, 10 minutes too long. You know what I mean? There's, again, once you get packed the fact that he's just walking around just like... And just, you know what I mean? It's like... It's, a, it's if you see Michael Myers in the, the, the cut bits, you don't see Michael Myers and he's just like... <laughs> it, it, it's it's laughable. It's got all the gruesomes. It is low budget, but it's been executed really well and like everyone is in on it, in on it, you know what I mean? So you can't fault it, like really. I mean, someone can... I mean, I could fault it. They're saying it's got an 18 and a 15 now, but that's a different story. But yeah, nine-year-old Douglas has decided that Halloween he's going to dress as his little as a little character from his fairy video game, Satan's Little Helper. Whilst trick or treating, he happens upon a masked psychopath who tricks Dougie into being his little helper. And as the two begin a hellish rampage for the small community of Bell Island, soon Dougie realizes that for real and his new master is a crazed killer, demented by the murder of Dougie's family next. Oh yeah, as well, it's on the back of the box. I'll tell you that the outtakes. So in the outtakes, after the Fink, they've killed him. Because <laughs> you know? he's like, he gets shot and the next thing you know, because every like <laughs> he turns up as fucking Jesus. <laughs> and like so he's went from Satan, he's now Jesus, and the Jesus thing's more terrifying than the fucking mask. Because the guy doesn't talk all the way through. And the kid's like, is it because the kid or the kid does a cracking job because the kid's obviously going, is it because you don't have to or is it because? And he's just like, nodding away like a Cheshire cat. So anyway, like he just turns up as Jesus. And just like that. And Jesus goes on a fucking murderous spree and it's just like, what the fuck, man? Well, yeah, yeah, the Jesus bits are there. It's funny because they're just like, oh, there we go. So yeah, this has been Satan's Little Helper. As I say, this is the last... A review rant random for a while. I'm literally going to put this on the computer right now. Nip, 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 bang. It's ready. Probably come out late February. <laughs> Once a rest. I'm going to drop drop zone, no pun intended, tonight. I'm going to drop a podcast. I'm going to drop the last retro VHS. And I'm going to go right there out the way and focus on stuff I've said. Yeah, I'll do a video for you. Yeah, let's get together. Let's work. Let's collaborate. Let's say, <laughs> off ranting again, Stephen. <laughs> stuff again. So, yeah. Anyway, there's loads of review rant randoms and again I didn't do what becomes of the broken heart in New Zealand I did do tremors in New Zealand so again review rant randoms have been done on boats buses and I'm not saying that this is the end of them for lockdown it's just like I need time to focus on other shit so for now I've been Steve Monkey Mason thanks for watching I will be back soon with some more retro VHS's and when I'm doing retro VHS I'm it's a review rant random I'll be back with them eventually <laughs> but make sure you check out Satan's Little Helper Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. And now.